Hi, my name is Veronica Powell and welcome to Soulful Warrior Collective. Thank you for joining me today for this class, a Yoga Shred Fusion class. And what that means, if you're not familiar with Yoga Shred, they are drills, we are doing two, and drills that are eight rounds to batter timing, 20 seconds on, 10 seconds off, but you're revving up the heart rate, cardio, metabolism boosting, but all with this lovely safe yoga alignment, so safer on the joints, but just getting into that fast twitch muscle, speeding things up a little bit, getting things going and flowing. So we will be doing two lots of those within our yoga core strength vinyasa flow class, all moving with blocks today. So um, I used to sit and go, oh my gosh, blocks. Uh, but I love blocks. I can't say enough about using props and using the blocks to find that alignment and also to bring that ground up to you when you need to. It is really nice on the joints. It feels really good. Already I'm sitting on a block in easy pose, one foot in front of the other, nice and gentle. And it just feels nice, especially if you're sitting for a long period of time in this position to just elevate the ground, find the spaciousness through the body. A, a, a part of the body we often compress, those hips, uh, hip flexors, hip joint, that's often compressed. So this gives it a nice opening. And from there, find the ground, use the block as your ground, and then lift up. So like I said, I have one block. That's kind of um, what we need for this, at least one. I have two because there are times when I'll say we can use two and that is up to you. If you don't have blocks, I highly recommend getting them. They're not that expensive. You can get them um, in many, many places. So it's a great tool to have to add into your practice. So without further ado, let's come to the mat and come, like I said, to sit on your block. Finding the root, that root chakra that grounds us. So finding the ground beneath you, in this case, the block, that is your connection to the earth. And you can close your eyes if you like, or find a soft gaze as you start to just feel that breath, your natural breath moving. And just observing and feeling everything lifting up, starting to open, starting to be aware of everything in your body, breath, mind, muscles, joints, what's connecting to the ground, what is floating. And then take it from there a little bit deeper. So start to find that deeper breath. So inhaling through the nose, finding that belly. You can even place your hands on the belly. Really nice to find physical touch and awareness. Deep into the belly and on that exhale, so you're letting that belly draw in, rib cage draws in, and you're feeling this lovely wave of breath come in and out. Keep breathing, starting to find the inhalation, whether that expansion of the belly, expansion of the rib cage through the chest, and then exhale, return to the root. So finding this lovely line, more of a circle really than a line because it's this continuous flow through the center of your body, inhales and exhales. You can either go in and out through the nose or in through the nose and out through the mouth, your choice. But make that vibration, make the origin point down here in the lower belly, pelvic floor, and then up and then out. I like a couple of sighing breaths because you can feel and hear everything connect there. So inhale. On your next inhale, let's do this together. Inhale, expand the belly and exhale. Take a sigh, deep sigh. And there's always that little bit of extra breath there that comes out with when you let it go. On your next inhale, bring your arms up and on your exhale, start to rotate through the wrists as you lift through the body just as you were finding some warmth through those wrists. Inhale through the nose, exhale, lift through your center as you feel the air around you, creating this beautiful force. And on this breath, as you exhale and rotate through your arms, then bring your hands to your heart center. Inhale here, and now exhale, lifting from the core as you were before, but now finding the twist from the heart, where your hands are placed, just a gentle look over your shoulder. Head is the most mobile, eyes follow around. Inhale, you can come up 
through center. Exhale, draw in the energy as you lift up through the core. So there's a lot happening, even though it seems like a very small movement. There is a lot happening through the body. Pushing the palms together and finding a little resistance, starting to warm up through those arms. And exhale over to the right. Inhale. Exhale. Over to the other side. And then inhale, center. Bring your hands to the side and then find a little wave. Now I want you to pay attention. You have to stabilize a bit more if you're on that block. And then just move move that body and then you can take those hands out and find a little i don't know it's a little like an octopus <laughs> going out to the side and then take it small in and then take it out and find that lovely fluidity through the body so much of the body is fluid that fluidity through the body so much of our body is made up of fluid so we want to keep that flow and that movement now with your block come off the block and now place that between your thighs. Now, bring your hands out in front of you in all fours. Back the wrists off. Squeeze the thighs together here. And you'll feel that physical resistance, which is great for making you aware of an area which we often disengage when moving through poses. So first things first, I like to just pour the mat, find my fingertips and the ring of the palm of the hand like a, a cat or when they kind of pour away at the blanket. Inhale, with the squeezing of those thighs, come forward on the exhale, push through, lift up, and find that nice opening through the upper back. Inhale, you're bending your elbows, they're following that line. Exhale, you're pushing into the earth with your hands, with the tops of your feet, and you're coming and doming through the back. Inhale, sliding back, again, like a cat about to pounce, and you come forward and you lift up from that core and dome. Come all the way to neutral. And now we use those thighs along this deep core line to get this engagement to hold that in place. This time tuck your toes. Inhale back again, same action. But this time on your exhale, pushing into the earth, toes tucked lifting up through the core and as a result those knees come off and boy you feel it because you're squeezing those thighs together inner thighs come down inhale which is all connected that's all part of your core keep that breath going exhale lift through the core lift those knees up in fact they just kind of float and test yourself here really use that core and let the knees come up as a result of all of the strength and engagement through that deep core line now from here come down Inhale, this time come all the way, keep bent knees, bent, bent knees all the way into your downward dog. Now obviously pedaling is a little tricky here, you have a block between your legs. So take a bounce, use this to just bounce, 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 and squeeze those thighs together. Check in with your body that you're not pushing your body too far forward. You find a nice, even take a little ripple and a wave. And then take this further. Bend your knees, bend your elbows as if the forearms are going on the ground. On the exhale, push through the ground. Push through those inner thighs, lift through the core and come to plank. And feel that engagement. You can really feel the inner thighs working there. Come back, inhale, let's ripple out again. Come all the way out into that lovely plank. Lifting up through the core. Inhale. So see how we're using the plank to both bring physical awareness to an area and also to really focus in on the engagement. From this point, hold for just a moment. Then come down on your knees. Remove the plank for a, uh, remove the block for a moment. Untuck your toes. And then lift up in this lovely diagonal. Imagine that block is there. And then from here on your exhale. Lower all the way down. Pelvis touches, shoulders nicely on the back. And then come down, have a little roll here. Inhale, cobra. So starting to lift through the core. So the core front body comes up in order to support that back body. And then from there, you bend down and come all the way up with bent knees. This time you can take a pedal. Pedal, pedal, pedal. Inhale here. And then take two steps forward underneath your hips. If you want to take more, by all means do. 
take a little movement here but make sure those feet are under your hips so you have this little area here and from here inhale exhale come out into that lovely flat back so lifting up you can be up on your shins exhale down this time sit back hips go back knees go back weight is in the heels and the ball mounds from here find that flat back and then insert the block into the thighs again you may need to move your feet a bit closer together and now from here sit back find that nice position chest is lifted inhale here exhale push through the heels lift through the core but you're finding that rising from the ground through the inner thighs through the core coming all the way up and now i want you to take a little roll yeah you have to keep that block in place by engaging those inner thighs hands at heart center inhale the arms up exhale bend down then inhale wave out to flat back exhale bend a little remove the block to the side and step back downward facing dog have a little pedal here inhale bend 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 and then right leg comes up on the inhale on your exhale i want you to bend everything in push into the earth and then come out knee to outside right tricep push through the fingertips inhale high exhale across the body now so you're lifting the hips up as you come across to the left tricep inhale high you with me <laughs> exhale now through center lift up see how much lift you can get by pressing into the earth and then place that right foot behind your right hand from here i want you to come down onto your back knee and just take a moment to find a little opening through the hips and then from here come up onto the side or stay down on your knee if you're coming up keep a softness in that back knee and then bring your block either on medium high or low to the inside of your right foot but kind of underneath that shoulder there for the left hand to go on top from here bend that back knee bend that front knee front knee is backing off that heel and then open up so you're in an open reverse lunge here exhale as you exhale my knee bends your hand comes around in this beautiful circle so back to that circling yourself with golden light you can even sometimes i like to wave through the fingers imagine this golden glitter going around me waking up the hand and then take a wave so this hip is coming back you're pushing through the ground pushing into your block for expansion and then bring yourself all the way around place your block off here to the side inhale bend and find a nice wave into a nice extension here and then exhale bend that back knee make sure you have a nice wide stance there i had to move a bit to find my solid foundation from there pushing through the heel now you're lifting up through the core coming up on top of your hips nicely aligned still bent with the back leg inhale extend exhale hands at heart center bend forward pick up that block back to that block i haven't forgotten you block with your hands either side of the block like so pushing into the block you're going to do a, a kind of a version of fist fire, but with the block so inhale up exhale shh inhale up exhale ha inhale up exhale ha so just pushing together you feel that resistance then come forward side come back and now from here open yourself up i'm going to turn to you so you can see me but open yourself up into warrior two so bending same thing knee is over that um front heel back the hips off and now from here we can push up inhale and on your exhale ha get rid of those obstacles that may be standing in your way exhale ha right from here that ha powerful powerful sound ha of course that's optional but maybe that's what you need today reverse peaceful warrior hand on your thigh coming round again opportunity to shine those fingers out and then come all the way down 
into a side angle for a moment. Bend your back knee, reach over, find a block, and place your block here on the inside of your right foot. Open up here for a moment, and then exhale, bend your back knee, come all the way round, and open up. Place your hand on your block. So that can be up high, medium, or low. From here, come all the way round, come halfway, make sure the hips are backing off, and from here, now pushing into the earth, heel everything in contact, using that block to get some spaciousness coming into triangle, pushing into that block, like I said, it can be medium or it can be low, but I'd like you to use that block and use that, that physical awareness as you push in. Exhale, come round, come halfway, like you're drawing through from the earth, like a bow and an arrow, warriors that we are. And then exhale, come all the way around. Inhale, come up. Exhale, come down. And now from here, rise all the way up and move the block and cartwheel your feet. So I'm coming back to where I am. So you cartwheel your hands down and then take your leg back. Let's take it all the way back into the tripod position, that split, shake it out, get some movement through the leg and place that leg down, a little pedal, pedal, pedal. Inhale here, free of the block for a moment. Exhale, come out to plank. Push through the earth. Imagine you have that block between your legs. Come down on your knees. From there, exhale, come all the way down. Inhale, cobra. Option to come into pointed plank, or you can come to the knees. As you push up, you have to really use that core to come all the way up, and then come over into downward facing dog. So now on the left side, inhale, bend your knees, send the left leg high. On the exhale, push everything into the earth and get that lift from, rise from the earth over left knee to left tricep. Inhale, right leg high across the body now. Push into the earth and lift left knee to right tricep. Inhale, left leg high. Exhale, right up into the center. Find that lift. Find the freedom, lightness through the body. Place that left foot behind the left hand. From here, come out, down on the knee, untuck that toe for a moment, and feel a little back and forth. You can always have the two blocks up high here. That can also be very nice. We won't be here long though. Now tuck your toes, reach across and find your block and place that on the inside of the left foot, but with a width that you can find a nice stable foundation. From here, inhale, out, exhale, bend, inhale, open. So you're opening up through the body in this reverse high lunge. As you exhale, bend the knee and circle, using those fingers if you wish, if you're on that journey with me. So turning around, you're seeing it from a different angle this side. You can see the knee bends. That really helps with your alignment. And as you come around this time, bring the hands down, place the block a little off to the side, bend that back knee, wave out into that nice flat back, finding your foundation here. And on the exhale, pushing into the earth and then lifting through that core with a bent back knee. Really good for that alignment, very important. And then from here, inhale up, exhale, bring your hands to heart center and pick up that block. Find that block, don't let go of it. Inhale up, exhale, ha! Fist of fire with the block. Inhale, exhale, ha! Inhale. Exhale, ha! Now from here, place the block down off to the side. Come all the way back up. Inhale up. Exhale, open up into warrior two. There may be some adjustment and some shifting here. So find your position. Take those hips back, knees in the right position, check in, and then expand out into my favorite majestic 
Warrior two. Inhale, push through the earth. Exhale, ha! Inhale, deep from that belly, ha! Hear me roar. Inhale, exhale, ha! Hand on the back, reverse. Warrior, come all the way around and then place on the exhale, place your forearm onto your thigh. Make sure your block is in front of you and then move it closer to you, whichever height you wish. Inhale and then exhale, bend, come all the way round and then open up on that inhale. As you exhale, place your hand on the block, bend that back knee, send those hips back and come into the center. And from here, you draw everything through the earth. So you're pushing into the earth and inhale, open. I love this, exhale, because you really can feel that pushing into the earth. And it's like you're pulling through molasses or you've got this tight bow that you had this arrow that you let go at the top. So you have this feeling of working through and then your reward is this amazing expansion at the top and then exhale come round place your block off to the side and come to pivot so you're in the nice lunge position now option here we can bring if you have the two blocks maybe try this and bring those blocks so outside of your feet so your foot is in the center or in between i should say bend here and then see if you can lift up Place your hands on the block. Make sure you're pushing through the fingertips and take that left leg up and give it a shake and a shimmy. Get everything moving and then come down. So you have this nice use of the two blocks here, elevating, lifting those shoulders and then bounce, bounce, bounce here. Have a little moment. Let's take some waves. Little mini plank waves. Get some movement back through the body. And on this time, come all the way. So now your plank is elevated at the top. Push through, knees down. You have a nice diagonal position. You can take those blocks a bit further out to the sides of the mat. Place your hands down, push into the earth. Exhale, come all the way down. You might want to even for a moment, feel what that feels like. So your chest is up for a moment, hands either side. Head is in line with spine. Head wants to do this. Keep that head up. Engage through front body, back body, side body. Take a breath here. And now bring your hand, one hand in front. Move those blocks off to the side. And come all the way up in your inhale. So option here, remember, you can lift through the core, push through your hands, pointed plank. Or bend your knees and come back into downward facing dog. Pedal here. Inhale, bend, look ahead, and on your exhale, when you're ready, maybe take a little jump or a walk halfway. Inhale, up into that halfway lift. Exhale, bend, and then grab that block again as you sit back. So as you sit back, you can slide it in. There are those inner thighs again. Back in action, hands out, chair pose, lift up through the chest and from here, nice, slow and steady, push through the ground, push through the inner thighs, lift through the core, come all the way up, place your hands on your heart for a moment, still lifting to keep that block in, then remove the block, place it off to the side as we move to okay. shift, which is based in our temple position. So finding your temple position, Bring your block in front of you. You'll need one block for this. If you choose not to use the block, that's fine. They're, they're, that's gonna work just great. But it's nice to use the block if you can. So find yourself in your turnout. So your knees tracking over your feet, hips and knees are back. You're lifting up, keeping that chest up. Sometimes this wants to happen. So keep everything lifting up. First four rounds, gonna hold the block, find that resistance. Inhale, so you're pushing into the block, finding the resistance. Exhale, ha! So you're coming shh, this way. Nice. Not too high above the shoulders, just right. And then the next four rounds will be shh, fists of fire. Ha! So if you don't want the block, then shh, shh, and shh, shh. 
Okay, so four rounds of each, 20 on, 10 off. First round of each movement will be slower so we can get that correct foundation and alignment. And then if you want to, speed up. So we've got two seconds. Find yourself in your position, press into the block. Inhale, pushing into the earth. Exhale, ha, you're drawing in. Inhale, shh. Now I like to breathe out of the mouth. You'll find you need it in a shred if you haven't done them before. So you're finding yourself extending and pulling. And the elbows are coming in, in this nice lift. Place the block down in between. And maybe a nice swirl, maybe using those fingers, keeping those moving, finding a little placement. Grab your block. So this time, if you feel like you have the foundation, then you can start to go a little faster. And the ha happens as you draw in, ha. And keep that body lifting. Keep pushing into those heels, into the toe mounds. One second, place the block down. I kind of had a spidey sense that that was coming to the end of that round. Make the most of this flowing movement and then come and bring your block in and shh. So you can feel the block. The block is here to give you that physical awareness, maybe a little bit faster, shh, and shh. And if you feel like you need a ha, this is a great time to ha. Make sure the knees are going back, the hips, we have three, we have two, and we have one. Place that block down. Now in between that strength and fierceness, find this softness, find the flow, find the wave. Pick up that block, last round, shh. So shh. If you're experienced to shred and you know these drills, this might be an opportunity to challenge yourself to a little fast action. Ha, ha. And you can take an exhale, ha, with a ha or a shh. Already done with that. And you can definitely feel when you use the block, you're very aware of what's going on with the arm. So inhale up slow, exhale, ha. Notice elbows are sliding ha in that action. Chest is up, pushing through the heels, finding a nice, um, maybe you want to go a little lower. Three, two, one. You can go lower here. Take that nice rest softness. If you're ready for that, your body is nice and warm. So this would be the time to do it. Pick up the block if you're using the block. Ha. So ha. You can start to shh, come down. Now, notice the arms go up. The heart rate already goes up too. So shh, breathing out, ha, through that mouth, ha, ha. I'm doing those ha, because it feels so good. And one, of course they're optional. Everything has its options. Feel your body, become aware of what your body needs day to day. Two seconds, let's go. Chest up, inhale, shh, shh. Ha, ha. So finding a more moderate to fast pace in this third round. We only have four of these. So keep going, keep that balance. Lift through the core. Three, two, and one. Place the block down. You might want to take a little in and in of each shoulder. Find something that you need. This is the last round. So let's go for it. Ha, ha. Push together. Don't let that block go flying into the air or flying to the earth. You want to control, find the awareness, pull through the body. Shh. And five, four, three, two, one. A little extra there. And we did it. So using that block there gives you a little resistance. Ooh, out of breath. I'm right there with you. I do this when you do this, and it feels good. It's nice to know we're all in this together. Take a little in, and when you're pushing, make sure you're not pushing on that knee joint, into the thigh. Now from here, I know those legs are saying, I've been in this position a long time, and you can rotate through the wrist. So let's take it in, toe heel, and find those legs again. Just a little moment. And as we go round, taking that rest, kick up towards your bottom nice and slowly. Let the breath naturally come to, and I like to take a really nice shake 
just to shake through the body, let everything get back into that feeling of moving. Talked about that fluid, moving around, shake it all out, let it all jiggle and wiggle, and then come to the front of the mat. Bring your blocks to the front of your mat, place them on the mat in front of you, and then come down onto your knees for a moment. Sit back on your heels if it's comfortable. If not, you can sit up. We won't be here long. Find your position. Inhale up. Exhale, circle round. So as you're coming up, rather than thrusting, you're pushing into the earth and you are lifting, lifting that core. Feel that sensation as then you rise. So make sure that lift is really coming from the earth, from the pelvic floor, lower abdominals, Lift up and out and come all the way around. Now I did promise two shreds. So here is the last one, which is a doozy. I've saved it for the last. So this is whole body with a focus on those glutes. This is where the two block action really comes into play. So if you have two blocks, bring them here. If you don't have two blocks, you can do this by all means without the blocks. It is nice to have two because you really feel that elevation. So I'll quickly show you a demo of what we're doing here. So with your hands, your fingertips placed in, shoulders backed off, find your position. We'll be doing some donkey style kicks and heel going up to the ground, hips facing forward. Slow at first, moderate. Now option, 10 second hold. Hold, you can do the 10 second rest, rather you can do the fire hydrant. Or you can come down for a minute, stretch, roll out the wrists. Options, options. So find something that works for you. We have our 10 seconds set up and then in for 20, 10. Four on the right, four on the left, starting slow. Find your position. We have, remember lifting through that core. Head in line, avoid that dipping. So let's begin. So shh, as we go, shh, really feel that action. Where is it happening? Really concentrate, send the mind into the glute. Shh. And shh. we have five seconds. So keep that going, really feel the glute lifting rather than just the hamstring. Now come out to the side and just do little pulses. Keep that body in line, push through those fingertips and just do little, so we're getting into that side area and then come back to center. Now, as you go up, bend in the knees and press. Aha, I added something sneaky in there. So still going moderately slow. We see when you bring in those elbows and they come in line, we have five seconds. This is now a complete whole body, two seconds. Yes, it is. You can definitely feel it. So again, option, you can be doing this hydrant or you can take a little rest, sit back on those heels like I showed you and one second, let's go. So a little bit faster, Shh. can you kick into the earth? So you're kicking straight up, hips, are facing, everything is facing, head in line with spine, it wants to dip. If you're doing these little micro push-ups, I'm sure you can feel it in the triceps. And we have five, four, three, two, one. And whoo, that fire hydrant. Yes, so we're going all around those glutes. That large, large muscle groove, you're getting in every angle. Last one on this side, so shh. See if you can do pulses, but keep it concentrated in the glute. If everything is going and this is too much at once, back off something so that the form is correct. We'll work towards this, keep breathing, keep pushing into the ground, the blocks, and two, and one, and this time. Yes, a nice high child's pose. So if you have those blocks, you'll see the lovely, or you'll feel the lovely feeling of, I'm just gonna pause there for a moment, that lovely feeling of elevation through the shoulders. Take a little sway, getting into the wave here. Keep going. We have 10 seconds before moving to the left side. So let's take that 10 seconds and then slowly come up, find your position. If you're on those blocks, find the edges, push it. Ready? Nice and slow. So first round, keep a softness in the elbows, but first round, let's just get that leg action. 10 seconds, halfway through this first round, nice and slow. Often the other side feels a little different. Three seconds, 
because we've worked that glute already. So let's try a little side action. This one is definitely feels that it's been worked already and come back into center. Now, bend in, come up. So moderate to slow, working through. So you're pressing through the fingertips, keeping the head in line with the spine. Often the head wants to dip. Keep that nice line, push everything that's connected with the earth into the earth, two and one. And hold up and now just do a little side or you can take that time to rest. We have three seconds. Wherever you are, it's not long, I know. But that's the point of these, right? So now we're moderate. Shh, shh, straight up. Shh, shh, shh. I have to remind myself that I was going a little open. You want those hips facing down to the mat, pushing into the earth. Three, two, and one. And then turn out. Let's find that little fire hydrant. Really get into that little intense side area there. Three, two, one. Now, if you have it all coordinated, or as much as is possible, work with some speed here. Some micro pushing into the blocks, micro kicking up, but feel that glute. We are nearly done. We have five seconds left. So keep the head in line with the spine. Lift through the core, two, and one. And let's just take this in a well-deserved child's pose. Ah, oh, I definitely feel that. That's a good whole body. You can feel everything working. And that does take time to feel everything. So come back, revisit this class and try each time to just challenge yourself a little bit and find the pace. Now come up for a moment, take those blocks off out the way and stretch out in that child's pose and take your hands over to the right and let the left hip come a little like an inch or so off the heels and find that wave. Come back into center, come all the way over to the other side, let the right hip slide off for a moment, wave through the body, stretching through the side. Come back into center and then wave up, come round and come to sit on your mat, feet out in front, grab a block. A little bit of extra something something for the core, starting, remember the inner thighs, that's all part of that deep core line, an important part and important to keep those active. So you have options, you can come back on your hands, fingers facing forward, open chest, finding that position, pushing into the earth, and you can lift up here, squeezing into that block. Or if you would like, we are nice and warm, so you can try either way, you can come up. Wherever you are, come up, squeeze through the block, maybe take your hands out, and then hold here for a moment, squeeze through that block, lift through the core, chest up, open up, and then come down. Take the block out for a moment. Bring your legs together in a Baddha Konasana. Give a little flutter, just a little. Soles of the feet together. Breathe in and out. This time, we're going to do a little side to side twist. I'm gonna move because I'm close to my backdrop. So, come up. You can either have your hands behind you to come up. Find your position from here, twisting. So exhale, so squeeze that block together. You're lifting and you're just taking the block over a little bit, just side to side. So now you're squeezing the legs together. You're lifting from the pelvis and you're squeezing that block and just taking it gently over, twisting from the chest. Come into center, cross your legs this time and take a little side to side. It's just a little extra something to remind us of the engagement we did earlier. Blocks off to the side, uncross your feet, and then slowly come down. Bring the blocks somewhere within your reach, and then come all the way down and do a little windshield wipe. You can place your hands on your belly, hands on your hips, hands out and openness, opening through the chest. Just a little side to side. I love to incorporate this into most of my movements, it feels so nice. 
It's like a reward after all of the hard work you put in. Really nice. So then bring your feet so they're nice hips width distance and grab your block. I'm going to come up in the bridge. So place your hands by the side, put your block close within your reach and then push with the heels and lift up. So you can feel that lovely motion. You're engaged. You're not pelvic tilting. You're not arching. It's this nice, what I would call a drawbridge almost. And making sure the chin's not too squished in or back. Find yourself here. And now nice and slowly, we're gonna come down. Really feel as you exhale, you can feel every part of your back slowly descending into the ground, feeling everything slowly, slowly connecting. And when the hips reach the ground, let those glutes relax. So we held them and now there's the relax. And take a little mini side to side for a moment. Come back into center. Now grab that block. Come back into that drawbridge. So push through your heels, lift up. And now place either a, a medium or a low, or if you're really um, more of an advanced backbender, you can come up on the high and turn it. But you want it underneath that pelvic girdle rather than in the lower back. So find that position. Now this is your earth. So it requires a little bit more stabilization, right? But you can feel that connection. When you feel that connection, you can draw your knees over your hips for a moment. And you can stay right here. Or you can take your legs up a little further. Wherever you are, see the bend in the knee. That's what we want. We're looking for softness here. This is about letting lymphatic drainage, fluid moving, flowing blood, softness waving through our feet. In fact, what I like to do at first is just do a little reminder, that little shimmy that we did standing up, that vibration through the body is really nice. Our body moves in a very flowy way if we allow it and we don't put obstacles and jar everything and straight and get rigid. So let it be, let it be wobbly and flowy and jiggly and let it send all of that vibration through the body. And then you can find a peaceful place. Find the comfort. If the block doesn't feel quite right, then bring your feet down, adjust accordingly, and then come back up. And if you feel balanced and secure, holding a little bit of engagement through the core for stabilization, you can close your eyes if you wish. Have them open if you feel unsteady. And hands are by the side, either palms facing up or down. Find something that feels comfortable and works for you. This is all of the lovely rewards. This inversion is an amazing inversion. Same principles as a handstand. You're upside down, sending vibes back through the body. Physically letting yourself be upside down, letting everything flow. We're always the other way around. So this is a nice alternative. And then slowly when you're ready, bend through the knees, place one foot, then the other. And then stretch out your right leg and maybe stretch out your left. And this is where you will lift a little bit through here. You can feel that the back can overarch here. So just lift and secure and stabilize through your whole core, front side and back. And feel that lovely freedom and stretching through the hip flexors, the psoas muscle that connects lower and upper body. And then maybe you want to extend that with your arms out over the head. Find something that works. Lifting through that front body, you realize how much that front body can be used to protect the back body. That lower back that often suffers a lot from people misaligning. So you want to really protect through the lower back by using all of the core muscles, particularly that deep core at the front of your body. And now bring your hands to the side and slowly draw those feet in and push through the heels enough to lift the hips and remove the block. 
and let's take that nice slow descension into the earth sending your mind into every connecting point so as you feel the ribs back of the ribs and the muscles touch the earth the middle of the back and everything comes down all the way down to let go of the glutes take your feet further away from you when you're at the earth and if you have two blocks this would be really nice time to bring them so they can support you underneath your feet if you don't have two blocks supportive cushions work here or some books but i encourage this nice openness but with a sense of stabilization so blocks underneath your knees soles of your feet together nice and open and just letting everything rest so you can really let go safely letting the hips open take a few breaths and with your fingers in a kind of a c claw shape you can push into the thighs there as they're open and you may feel a little opening and expansion through the back body a freedom sense of space breathing through and then you can give your legs work very hard for you today and every day give them a little massage you can even get those little bits of your glutes on the side well i certainly can so just give them a little love and then over the hip flexors again those get used a lot they compress a lot so let's decompress here and come to your belly, hands on your belly, appreciating the beauty of that belly. Then place one hand on the heart and one hand on the belly. That beautiful connection. And use your mind here to go all the way down into those connecting soles of the feet. Feel that connection. And then take your mind up the calves, like an open diamond shape you have there. Up the calves, the inner thighs that you work so hard through the pelvis through your solar plexus, your abdomen, where your hand is placed up through the chakra line to the heart, then out, up, through the throat, the mouth, third eye center, and then the crown of the head. That whole line of energy has been ignited through this practice. Becoming very aware of the energy flowing through your body. Letting the breath naturally slow down. Close your eyes for a moment. Take a deep breath in through the belly. And sigh it out through the mouth. Bring your hands away from the belly and the heart and take them to the outside of your thighs and gently close your legs like you're closing a book. Push away any obstacles and then roll over into a fetal position and feel the ground beneath you. Push your way back up, all the way back up. Find a block and then place the block on the mat and then come gently to place yourself back on the block in a nice easy pose, just for a moment. And feel that nice sensation Feel all the feels from the beginning of class when we sat here to the end of class, when we have awoken our inner fire, we have feel, felt all of the physical awareness with the block. And now we feel this lovely calmness waft over us. Inhale, raise your arms up through the center and on your exhale, Come all the way around and just let the fingers waken like a golden light shining around us, the beautiful warriors that we are. Bring your hands all the way around and place them in prayer position in front of your hand, your heart, and bow down to one another. Thank you for joining me today in this class. I hope to see you again soon. Have a beautiful day, warriors.